welcome back guys to another video and today we are going to talk about new NiceInch update version 2025. So this update came out about a week ago and it works perfectly fine and I think that everyone should update to it. So let's take a look what are the news with this update. So the most important thing over here you can see updated excavator to version 156a. So what does this even mean? We have to go to github page of the excavator to see what they actually added and what are the news with this. So added algorithm x16r you can see it down here and this means that you can now mine raven coin and few other coins that are on this x16r algorithm. And this algorithm is actually a really interesting one and you can see over here how it actually works. So this x16r algorithm actually has 16 different algorithms inside of it and you don't know which algorithm you are going to get in every block. So if in one block you got one algorithm, in another block you might get another one or you might actually even get the same algorithm. But this is why the A6 are so hard to be developed for this X16R algorithm and why so many people mine Ravencoin with GPUs. So Ravencoin mining was insane when Ravencoin just launched because the block reward is 5000 coins per one block and block times were really short so if you were within like first 100 or 200 people that were actually mining Ravencoin you could pay off your entire rigs in only few days. Now not a lot of people actually did this because not everybody knew about it but now when it is so popular you can still make some good money with it. They actually had to update excavator server again just to fix few problems that this uh, new algorithm added because it is actually really hard to benchmark this algorithm since you have 16 different algorithms and not every one of them has the same difficulty to mine you never know which algorithm you should actually benchmark so when they decided to benchmark some sort of average algorithm people were experiencing lower hash rates or a lot higher hash rates than they were being told by software so if we go over here to nice hash you can see in algorithms that right now it is reporting that i will be making 19 and a half thousand satoshis per day on 180 Ti with 16.633 mega hashes per second and this is going to change a lot depending on the algorithm which you get. You can see over here that some algorithms get as low as 10.41 mega hashes per second and some algorithms get as high as 25.25 mega hashes per second. So this is a huge difference between the hardest and the easiest algorithm to benchmark. So they decided just to benchmark some of the lowest algorithms. You can see this red line over here. So you will be almost always be getting more than they are saying that you will make by mining x16r and you should be making about 20% more so this 20,000 should actually be about 24,000 satoshis per day instead of 20,000 satoshis so this is why x16r is great for GPU mining and not so great for ASIC mining, mining but it is hard to benchmark and it is hard to say exactly how much you're going to make and this is the first algorithm that Nicish ever added which works like that. So the next thing is optimized Lira 2Z algorithm for NVIDIA cards and Lira 2Z is now giving me 3.2 mega hashes per second and before it was, it was giving me exactly 3 mega hashes per second so this is about 7% improvement in Lira 2Z and Lira 2Z has the lowest power consumption out of any of those algorithms over here. It only uses about 50% of your GPU TDP so your GPU will make enough money and it will actually spend the lowest amount of electricity. Next thing is added button to enable excavator logging so this is just if you want to see some logs from your uh, miner software and maybe you just want to see why your GPU doesn't work or why your hash rate is low. Various bug fixes and improvements and updated XMR stack to version 2.4.5. So XMR stack is for your CPU mining and over here on Ryzen 1700 which is 8 core 16 thread CPU we can see that I only get about 3000 over here and 2000 satoshis over here so even with updated version you're not going to make any money at all well not well almost not any money and you cannot even pay your electricity which your CPU will use because at about 60 to 90 watts depending on the CPU you will not be able to cover that electricity with only 3000 satoshis per day. 
So this update is actually really great and you should update to it, especially because you get 7% improvement on Lira 2Z for free and you get X16R which still works pretty good on GPUs but um, it works the best on 180 Ti and 170 Ti and uh, the other cards like 163GB and 6GB versions don't work so well with it because it needs that uh, GDDR5X memory instead of GDDR5 which is really different from other algorithms which work better on GDDR GDDR5 instead of GDDR5X. So thank you guys for watching this video, I know I didn't make a new video for like 2 weeks, but now I'm back to making videos and see you soon in another one. Bye!